Hi, welcome to this platform, a moment of truth. On this platform, we shall be talking about Edo politics. We shall be talking about Edo political history from the creation of the state in 1991. We shall be talking about Edo political development since 1991. We're going to be talking majorly also the 2024 gubernatorial election that will be taking place in Edo next year. And we also try as much as possible to critically analyze those who are already aspiring, who are already aspiring to take over from the current governor, Godwin Obasaki, by next year, 2024. We'll critically look at them individually, their antecedents, their past histories, their past records, and what we feel they can do, their past achievements, political achievements, personal individual achievements, and what we feel they can do for the state. We'll also look at the history of the state from 1991. You'll recall from 1991 to the date, we have had about five governors. If you put in um, um, Godwin, the current governor, we've had uh, Chief Odija Oyegun, who was the first executive governor, a civilian governor of the state when it was created in 1991. He stayed in 1993. Then, it, of course, the military came again in 1993 to 1998. I mean, 1999, when we had a Chief Lucky Ibenedion, Chief Lucky Ibenedion to also Mbao. Mbao was between 90, I mean, 2007 to 2008. His administration was short lived. You recall how the AP court removed him from office for Oshomole to come in in 2008, November 12th, to be precise. And we had Oshomole. See, we had Oshomoleti 2016 when the current governor, the, the incumbent governor, Mr. Godwin Obasaki, took over and he did his city governor. So we'll be looking at every one of them, what they did, and then also look at all the people who have held positions in the state, how, how they have attracted development to the state, social political development to the state. And we'll look at, uh, like I said, nothing but the truth will be told about all, everything, because we, it is very important, very, very important, I must emphasize, that we help our people, we guide our people to make the right choice next year, because whatever choice we make next year is going to go a long way in determining how developed the state is going to be in the nearest future. You will agree with me, I do state is not uh, among the top states in the, in the states in the country today when you talk about the uh, developmental stride but i can assure you that we we'll assure that we guide our people this time around we'll guide all the eligible voters to ensure that they take the right choice next year so this is what we'll be sharing here and i i want to enjoy you to be with me to join me to follow me up throughout and as you do, ensure also that you share this video. Let every Edo and uh, 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 wherever they are in this world, in, uh, at home and in the diaspora, let them be part of this program. Periodically, we will be doing it here. You can share with us. You can drop your comments. You can ask your questions. I can assure you that we are going to be telling you nothing but the truth here about everybody, anybody, because we we have done our findings. I particularly have been a critical stakeholder in the state since its creation, and I've participated in all elections since 1999. So I can tell you that you will have it raw and truthfully here as you join us. Please share this video and ensure that everybody participates so that we can help our people to make the right choice next year. Thank you very much. And like I said, my name is Darlington Okpewolo Ray. Thank you.